let's factorize uh, these two questions 6x squared minus 5x minus 6 and 12x squared minus 19x plus 4. So the first step that uh, uh, we are going to do is to multiply this coefficient of x squared and this constant. So uh, let me do that 6 times negative 6. The two that gives you minus 30. And we want to find the two factors of minus 30, which gives you minus 5. So where did I get the minus 5? This is the minus 5. So the first step is to multiply the coefficient of x squared and the constant. And the second step is to find two factors of minus 30, which adds to give you minus 5. So well, uh, you can have uh, 15 times 2 is 30. That's not going to help. Uh, what else can we do? 6 times 6 is not 30, it is 36. Okay, sorry. 6 times 6, uh, 6 times negative 6 is not 30, minus 36. So the two factors of minus 36, which gives you minus, which adds to give you minus 5, are uh, minus 9 plus 4. Okay, so 9 times, negative 9 times 4 is negative 36 and negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5. Now the next step is very interesting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both these factors by the coefficient of 6, sorry, coefficient of x squared, which is 6. So this is negative 9 over 6. I'll tell you why I'm doing it. And then I got 4 over, 4 over, 4 over 6. So this is, when you simplify this, this is uh, what goes in 9 and 6. 3 goes, so this is negative 3 over 2. And this simplifies to 2 over 3. Okay, so this is a process which will help you to write the factor. So what you do is basically, this these two numbers helps you to write the factor. So this would be, from these this ratio you can write 2x minus 3 and from this ratio where did I get this? this 2 from the denominator and 3 from the numerator so 2 is the coefficient of x and minus 3 is the constant and this becomes 3x 3 from the bottom so that is 3x plus 2 and it does work just to confirm 3x times 2x times 3x is 6x squared this is, if you can see this, this is this is minus 9x and this is plus 4x. Minus 9x plus 4x is minus 5x. Okay, and that is the factors. So let me do one more. Okay. So yeah, the same process, multiply. Let me use a different color. Let us multiply 12 and 4. So 12 times 4 is 48. And the two factors of 48, which gives you minus 19. Okay, so which are the two factors of 48, which gives you 19? So, well, 16 times 3 is 48, so minus 16 minus 3. So, just to clarify, what, what, are, what are these numbers? So, what I'm saying is, minus 16 times minus 3 is plus 48 or 48 and minus 16 negative 16 plus negative 3 is negative 19 so that's what these these branches mean so you multiply these two you get 48 and you add them you get minus 19 the next step is interesting i'm going to divide both by the coefficient of x squared so minus 16 divided by 12 and uh, there's no need to understand why we do this, but this is going to help you to get to the answer. This simple, you have to simplify this. So what goes in 16 and 12? Well, 4 goes in 16 and 12. So 4 times 4 is 16, so negative 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. And 3 goes in 3 and 12, so this is minus 1 over 4. So the bottom number tells you the coefficient of x, 
and the top number tells you the constant. So directly you can write the factors like this. So this is 3 from the bottom, start from the bottom, so 3x minus 4 and 4x minus 1. So always good to confirm. Can you see minus 4 times minus 1 is plus 4, 3x times 4x is 12x squared. And to confirm the middle term, this is this is what? This is minus 16x. This is minus 16x. And this is this is minus 3x. And that gives you minus 19x. Okay, so you can pause this video and try to do this yourself. Okay. Hopefully you have done this. So let me finish off with uh, quickly. So this is 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. The two factors of negative 18 which gives you plus 7. Okay, so the factors, one should be positive and the other should be negative. Because positive times negative gives you negative. So, well, and you have to have a plus 7. So this should be plus 9 minus 2. Okay, and the next step is dividing both by the coefficient of x squared. So it's 9 divided by 6, and this is negative 2 divided by 6. And this simplifies to 3 over 2, because I'm dividing both by 3, and this I can divide by 2, so this is negative 1 over 3. So if the factors are 2x plus 3, and 3x minus 1. It's always good to check whether you have put, found the right factors. Okay, so yeah, 2x times 3x is, uh, it should be m. Okay, so let me kind of write it, m, it's not. So this is m, so let me change this to m. This is m. Okay, so 2m times 3m is 6m squared. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. This is how much? This is plus 9m, this is plus 9m, and this is minus 2m. And that does give you uh, plus 7m. So again, you can pause this video and try to do the next question, which I'm going to uh, just put. Uh, so this is question 4 and 5. So this is question 4 and this is question 5. That is something that you can do yourself. 15x squared minus 20x plus 28x plus 12. And the next is 12x squared minus 6. Uh, 12x squared minus x minus 6.